Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Renix with an actual in this tutorial. I'll be showing you how you can easily remove folds and wrinkles from your images in Photoshop. So in this you're just going to be transforming this image from looking like this to looking like this using Photoshop. You can see in the before we have these kinds of folds and wrinkles and cloth is not ironed. So just want to learn how you can easily iron a cloth in Photoshop. And as a bonus, I'm going to be learning how to smooth out the background like it was meant to be or to make it look a little bit seamless so before after so i'm just going to come and delete this so after deleting it the very first thing we are going to be doing we just want to separate the colors from the textures so that when, when we are trying to refine or remove the wrinkles the colors are not affected or even the textures are not affected so with this we are simply going to come to the actions and play a frequency separation action. Remember, when we use frequency separation, it divides the image into the colors and the textures, and it's going to get the same image and divide it between or into the colors and the textures. So just going to come and play the action. So if at all you want to download my actions, check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel for a content that I always drop for you. So after downloading your actions, to import them, simply double click on the action to open it into Photoshop or you can simply load the action into Photoshop by coming right here and simply locating or finding load actions right here to load the actions into Photoshop. So I'm just going to come and play my 16-bit action. So for this, in order to remove the wrinkles or folds, you have to take up the radius just like that. So you have to use a relatively low radius. So the more the wrinkles, the lower the radius you have to use and the less the wrinkles or the folds in the clothes, the higher the radius. So a low radius is going to be strong enough and it's going to do more work removing the wrinkles and a higher radius is going to be doing less work removing those less wrinkles. So I'm just going to be using a radius of 3 for this kind of wrinkles because I just want to remove them because they are a little bit too much so i'll use a low radius and i'll hit ok so after hitting ok i'm just going to come to the black and white layer and simply delete it so in order to remove the wrinkles simply hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer so i'm just going to come to the brushes right click and get the mixer brush tool and for a setting make sure the hardness is set to zero and make sure clean brush is selected right here and this second option is selected that says clean the brush after each and every stroke with the weight of 9%, load 75, mix at 90 and the float of 100%. I'm just going to reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So how to remove the wrinkles? You simply have to paint in the direction or the opposite direction of the wrinkles. So to remove these wrinkles that are moving in this kind of vertical direction, I'll move these ones are moving in a horizontal direction rather. I'll have to left click and hold down to paint and move the brush in the opposite direction. So I'll just left click and paint just like that. And left click and paint. So to paint you left click and hold down and you paint a given area just like that. Then to paint on a new color you release the left click button and left click once again on a new area that has different color and you try to blend those folds and wrinkles. So just come and paint just like that. Reduce on the size to work on a new area and also remove those folds and wrinkles. So I'm just going to paint just like that and also remove the wrinkles from this other side. So just take your time as you're trying to remove these folds and wrinkles. So basically this is how you can easily iron out or remove folds and wrinkles from fabric in Photoshop. So I'll just paint just like that. And by just doing that, you can see that the outfit is now looking better than it was before. So just paint just like that. So you can now turn on the texture layer and you can see what we have right now. So this is a before, after, before, after. So to remove those other extra wrinkles existing, select the high frequency and now come and get the clone stamp tool. 
with the blend mode of normal opacity and flat 100 percent align this checked and the sample set to current layer i have to zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard to zoom in so to zoom out it is ctrl minus so to remove this line right there hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click so option for mac then for windows it is alternate and left click on a clean area or an area that is next to the wrinkle and simply draw over that line to eliminate it so that is how you can remove all these remaining lines so always take your time as you're trying to remove these remaining lines so take your time as you're doing this so this is what we have right now before after so as a bonus if at all you want to clean up the backdrop simply create a stamp visible layer by using shift alternate ctrl e for windows then for mac it is shift option command e on the keyboard create a stamp visible layer and with the mixer brush tool still selected with the same settings we used before you are simply going to use the same technique and simply mix on the background so simply mix on the background just like that and mix just like that so we are basically blending the colors on the background and trying to blend them so that we can have a better and nice transition with no wrinkles and folds so you can see i'm mixing these bright colors alone and blending them just like that and you release to see the effect and go and left click once again to remove folds and wrinkles from a brand new area so zoom out to see so as you're trying to use this technique always zoom out so that you can cover a big space or a wider space within a short period of time and it's going to help you save a lot of time so you can now zoom in to remove the wrinkles closer to the subject so using a small brush remember we're using the bracket keys to reduce or increase on the size of the brush so you have to be careful when it comes to working on the edges just like that so take your time as you're trying to use this technique because you don't want the brush to carry color and paint it in the backdrop so just want to create that kind of nice and seamless studio backdrop or background so take your time and mix every area that you feel has those wrinkles and folds so just going to come and also mix this tiny area so right now this is what we have and let me show you a quick before and after for what we have been able to achieve so this is the image before after before after so this is how you can easily iron and remove folds and wrinkles from fabric or clothes in photoshop and also how to create a seamless backdrop for your studio images in photoshop if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you next more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating